We're conducting some archaeological research trying to determine whether or not we can identify the location of the first windmill that was here when the Russians were here. The windmill was uh, the first windmill built in California. The Russians built it probably shortly after they arrived here in 1812, and uh, it was located on a small knoll just north of the North Blockhouse, okay, at the, probably at the time in the start of the higher points on the uh, property. And uh, today, even one of the windier locations in the whole Fort Ross Park. Um, it was used to grind wheat and um, also probably used uh, as a stamp. It had a stamping mechanism to pound tan bark into smaller pieces so they could use that in the uh, uh, tannery that they had down at the lower part of the fort. There is um, a very accurate model here in the visitor center of the windmill. It is. Um, a classic Russian windmill design. It's a square-based structure with a sort of a pyramid top, and then pivoting around that pyramid top is another structure, which was actually the windmill itself. The sails of the windmill were connected to that top structure, which rotated around a king post, a very large, round piece of timber that was buried in the dirt. It was vertical, and the whole structure rotated around that king post. And that, in fact, is the evidence that we're looking for, the evidence of that hole where the king post was, or the, or the evidence, or the remains, rather, of the king post itself. This is a field school class from St. Mary's College in uh, Moraga, St. Mary's College of California. We have uh, four students, uh, three students from St. Mary's and one student from the University of Colorado.